Hi, this is Brian with another mini chapter from A Philosopher's Notes. This one's called Your Angel's Advocate. We all know about the devil's advocate, but what about the angel's advocate? From my vantage point, it sure looks like our angels are underemployed. Of course, it's important to prepare for what can go wrong, but what about spending more time looking at all the things that can go right in our lives? Methinks it's time to put our angels to work. Imagine your little angel taking its rightful place above your right shoulder. Is it a he or a she? Name? Tattoos? Other distinguishing features? Got a good image? Nice. Now, like all good angels, your angel likes to work hard. So ask that little guy slash gal of yours, if everything went incredibly, splendidly right, what would my life look like? Write it down. The more details, the better. And remember, your angel loves to imagine all the things that can go right with a creative project or business or relationship or any and everything else in your life. So put them to work, yo. P.S. This isn't just another woo-woo self-development exercise. Psychologists call exercises like this a best selves diary. And they've been scientifically proven to develop our optimism, which, as we now know, is a key variable to our overall well-being. So, give it a shot if you're feeling it. PPS, I start pretty much every creative project with a little angel's advocate journaling. And I love to do it if I'm ever feeling a bit stuck. So there you go, your angel's advocate. When's the last time you had your angel's advocate on your side? Go ahead and have fun with it. Dream about what's possible in your life. And then, of course, go out and work hard to bring it to fruition. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Look forward to sharing more with you soon. See ya.